Hi, this is Mark. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a text pattern plugin. Um, I've pulled up my uh, own text pattern website control panel, and it looks a little bit different from the default, but um, the same uh, menu items and everything are here, so it should make sense. Um, also, in this other tab, I've got the website for a plugin I'm looking to install. There's a link to the plugin and the source code for the plugin. Um, the source code is uh, generally used by people who are able to read PHP and work with it, and so if that would help you, then you can use that. But to actually get this working inside of Text Pattern, it's best to go with the plugin link here. And when you click on it, you'll, what you'll see is it'll open up a um, text file. So mine downloaded. Some of them will open up directly in the uh, browser. And let me just close this stuff. Um, there's another plugin that I had open. So um, here's the text file that it opened. And this is a lot different from other plugins and other uh, CMS systems because it is just plain text. And you need to make sure that you copy all this. And what I like to do is go to Edit and Select All, which you can do on a Mac with um, this uh, Option A, or sorry, Command A, um, or on a PC you can use Control A. Um, and once you select All, then you can copy it, um, Edit, Copy, and you can paste into um, Text Pattern um, via the uh, admin tab here under plugins and when you paste it um, I'm going to use command V on my Mac you can use control V on a PC it's all going to appear in this little box here now first of all what I'll do is I'll show you if you do get incomplete information here and you click upload it's going to warn you it says badly formed or empty plugin code so that won't work so I'm going to repaste it and not delete anything and then click upload and it gives you a little preview of what it's showing here. Um, and then below that, it shows a preview of the plugin help, which isn't quite helpful yet because it's still in HTML format. So then I click install, and it brings me back to my list of plugins on my website. Now I'm going to go down to um, yab or yab underscore image. It's in alphabetical order. And the last step here is to find it in the list and go over and activate it. It says no next to um, activated. I'm going to click yes, um, and uh, there it is active now. And now I'm able to use that um, yab image uh, tag anywhere on my website. So that's that's it. All we needed to do was paste the code in and install the plugin and activate it.